A Fox 35 exclusive tonight. A family is just heartbroken. Their dog died while at a doggy daycare in Ocala. It's just so sad. This is Chevy that you're looking at, an English bulldog. Fox 35's Deborah Cho spoke with the family and the business owner. This was where Chevy was staying at the Red Fern Pet Lodge. What was supposed to be like any other visit for Chevy ended up in tears for his family. The laundry room was his room. That's where he slept because he snored so bad. He was, a, yeah, like a grown man snoring. Thomas, Brandy, and Jason remembering one of the things that they loved about their English bulldog, Chevy. But things around their house are different now. Chevy died while he was staying at a pet daycare in Ocala, where he's stayed once before. Thomas and Brandy say he died of heat stroke. The records show that when he arrived at US Vet, he was blue, no pulse, not breathing, and his body temperature was almost 107. So he was basically dead on arrival when he got there. Something they believe could have been avoided. <sighs> Dick Andrews owns Red Fern Pet Lodge. He believes his team did everything they could. He says Chevy was kept inside for most of the day, except for two three-minute walks outside. We've had uh, each of these walks. We've had a water check. We've had a food check. We've had just general staff walking by uh, in the area, and, and, and no symptoms were noted at those times. I spoke with a veterinarian who said dogs with flat faces in particular have a harder time breathing, especially in heat. It just makes them more likely to be intolerant uh, of high temperatures. Even if it's just short visits outside. Taking them out on walks sometimes can do it, unfortunately, even though for the human, it might seem like it's just a short walk, uh, but dogs can't really compensate quite as well as people can. Andrew says as soon as they noticed Chevy was breathing heavy, they reacted. Remember, we are not thinking uh, a, a heat stroke situation. We just see an English bulldog and, and that is uh, breathing heavy and, uh, and we took, our, took action, which is to get him to a medical facility. The minute that they saw that he was in distress and he was in distress because he was overheated, there's many things you can do. You can put him in a cooler bath. Andrew says him and his team are reviewing everything they can to see what else they could have done differently. To think that there's a family that went home without their their beloved dog it's it just it will it will haunt me now the owner of the business actually sent letters to pet owners that visit here telling them what exactly happened and what they're doing to make sure that situations like this don't happen again reporting in ocala deborah cho fox 35 news